Hello guys, in this part we will continue making our application more dynamic. But first of all, I suggest watching this video here because we use some functions that I explained in this video. So let's start. As you see here, group E comes before group A. First of all, we need to update this order. Back to our code. Here's our World Cup controller. This one. And just we need to add order by name. Order by name name and here group a comes then group e right then we will add this data dynamically using a form so we need to create an endpoint here for function called update and we need to return this view return view team this bullet here this one team dot plate and back here to our endpoint in our web to PHP file web and root get update team and our world cup controller world cup controller class update back to our browser slash update team and here is our view as you see here I will fetch a team then I will start updating data so we need to add a team here team model root binding team and send it to our view compact team so if I add team update team slash one, oh we must define it also in our web to PHP file. It will be a so team team one and back again to our blade and add here for example team name. Yeah, and here's our first ID is Japan. But what if we need to do something like that? Japan right we can do it easily our web here team and use name column so refresh again and we can use team name instead of team id it will be better i think so for example qatar and it's fine so let's fill our data inside one value it will be value team one and let's copy it here for other fields refresh and now we have our values so let's implement the endpoint which will update the model so back here to our controller function let's do a small change let's name it edit and here edit right and root post update team slash team and and wallet cup controller wallet cup controller class update all right here's also our team update and again team team all right and let's stay on dump here is our team back to our plate and also I need to rename or naming this root team dot update and here in my blade I will use it in the action using root method here team dot update and it takes a parameter don't forget about it here the team as you see and in the second parameter I will bust array then team back again refresh test and it does undump our team as you see here right so let's create a form request 
for updating this theme so here PHP artisan make request update theme request request yeah back again here inside app HTTP requests right and here is our update team request so first of all we need to add one it will be required and will be between 0 and 3 because here is our rule each team will play only three matches right and the same thing for draw and lost it must also be integer so we can add integer rule here and the same thing for goals for required integer and the same thing for goals against here goals against all right back again here refresh so back refresh and the end for example let's add another value here then update it return by undump back to our controller team update and here request our request we need to add firstly our update team request request here and then request validated right so it will take the only validated fields from here these five ones and it will update the team then return string updated for example back again refresh set loss to 2 update and 403 unauthorized because our request here must return true refresh again and it works back to our database here is Qatar for example and as you see here lost one when I refresh it lost becomes two but here points still zero because they actually didn't one right so for example let's update this one here one one for example update refresh points st still zero but it must be a three so in our model here we will use event observer or model observer here to automatic calculating points so here i will use function static boot right and i will use parent boot method for a model class and i will use static which means this class when saving so while creating or updating this model do the thing right so here our model or actually it can be team also and set team point is equal to team one matches multiplied by three plus team draw right multiplied by one actually anything multiplied by one returns one so we don't need it right and yeah back again and refresh back to our database and yeah as you see here points is three because they won a match let's for example set draw to one update they must get four points now so refresh and as you see four points but also in the same time as i told you here each team will play only three matches right if we back here to our code so if we sum them one plus one plus two equal to four not three so we need to add control for this back to our form request here right this one 
and I will use function prepare for validation prepare for validation right and also I will add another field here which called matches played right and it's required and also must be between here between 0 and 3 back to our prepare validation method which works before going to rules and I will merge this matches blade attribute merge here array and matches blade this one which will be equal to this one plus this draw plus this lost right so if I dump and and die here so this all method back refresh yeah matches blade it's four and then it must failed because must be between zero and three when I back again refresh update yeah it returns error because we must specify it to be integer here integer refresh again and it backs to our view right so imagine two and also we have an error this display this error message in our team played we can actually display it here for example in the end right so at error matches blade and end error display this message and message all right back again refresh and we have the matches blade must be between zero and three right so if i set it to zero update and we have another error unknown column matches blade because i take here all validated values in our controller so we can do something like that values or request data equal to request save which is the same of validated but returns collection and except don't take matches played back again here and pass our request data refresh again and now it works back to our database here one only and two and one multiplied by three returns three right back to our view again does it affect the arrangement or order of group here refresh and yeah now because they have three points another thing here we need to add to our database team's name must be unique right and also group's name must be unique so for example i can create another group called a or e for example here right and save and yeah we need to add some constraint for it to our migration we can do it easily using make migration here bhp artisan make migration update name constraint constraint in groups table which we artisan and here's our code our groups and I will add here table unique name change so we don't need a change and the opposite of that is drop column table drop unique and name back again and add php artisan 
migrate it works back to our code refresh and let's try to enter e group for example again or any yeah, refresh and we have this error it must not be duplicated yeah the same thing also will be for teams table near teams back again and the same thing table unique name and the same here drop unique name migrate migrate I created this alias by the way so it's equal to PHP artisan and the same thing back to our names or teams name and let's add for example uh, another team right with the same thing Qatar save and yeah duplicate entry k already exists yeah here is about this part support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos